As educators, we must be knowledgeable of various assistive and adaptive technology resources available to our special education students. In this presentation, I will introduce a few of these resources available for the blind student. There are various degrees of blindness, one being total blindness, which is the complete lack of form and visual light perception and is clinically recorded as NLP, an abbreviation for no light perception. Another degree of blindness is legal blindness. The vision acuity of 2200 or less in the better eye with best correction possible. This means that a legally blind individual could have to stand 20 feet from an object to see it with vision correction with the same degree of clarity as a normal sighted person could from 200 feet. A third degree of blindness is low vision, sometimes used to describe visual accuracies from 2070 to 2200. Color blindness is also a degree of blindness, which is a color vision deficiency, the ability to perceive differences between some of the colors that others can distinguish. Assistive technology is any item, piece of equipment, or system of products that is used to increase, maintain, or improve functional ca capabilities of individuals with disabilities. Adaptive technology are the aids used to adapt content or user responses into a medium appropriate for the user. Among the many, many types of assistive and adaptive technologies are the screen access software, braille note takers, Braille embossers or printers, Braille translator software, and color vision testing software. Screen access software provides spoken output through the PC soundboard, loudspeakers, or headphones. With this software, a student can listen to the announced typed text or command displays on the screen. One such software is JAWS for Windows. JAWS for Windows works with Microsoft Office Suite, MSN Messenger, Corel WordPerfect, Adobe Reader, Internet Explorer 7, and Foxfire. With the JAWS Navigation Quick Keys in Microsoft Word, a student is provided with ways to move through a document, as well as move to where the insertion points to different page elements are such as headings and footnotes, endnotes and comments, tables and field forms, pages and sections. It's also fully compatible with the Magic Screen magnification software. The Magic Screen magnification software magnifies text and icons on the screen. It can be used with a laptop, a PC, or a smart board. The system also customizes the monitor view with tinting, microchrome, and inverted brightness and colors. You can switch colors of text and background, which eliminates screen glare, boost contrast, and show the tracking of mouse pointer and cursor. The Braille note takers are small, lightweight, portable devices. They're used to create documents, to read text, they have full word processing, including Microsoft Word, and they support email and web browsing. In addition, the Braille Taker has audio style playback, global positioning system technology, also known as GPS. The keyboards are available in Braille or typewriter text.
system is compatible with Windows CE or related mobile operating systems and compatible with standard data storage devices, Windows PC, Braille embossers, convention printers. Optional hardware would be the refresher Braille display screen. Along with the Braille note takers, another valuable instrument is the Braille embosser or printer. The Braille embosser transfers the PC files into Braille hard copy. There are several options available. The first being single-sided, interpoint or double-sided, Braille and print, tactile images enhancers, and label makers. With a label maker, a teacher can label folder tabs, doors, furniture, books, and so much more for her student in her classroom. Another valuable resource for the teacher is the Braille Translator software. This software is a Windows compatible program used to transform typed words into Braille. In a classroom setting, a teacher can use the software to create school books, teaching materials, memos, bus schedules, notes and letters, and so much more. The prices for the software can vary from company to company. However, there are some free portable libraries on the internet that can be used as open source. One particular one is the Libraille. Using the Libraille, a teacher simply types in the information she would like for her student or the student's parents to be aware of, such as, Johnny will ride bus 104. With the program, the words that she has just typed can be created into Braille and taken home to the parents. 